Welcome to another installment, a new installment, and a different installment of Outside the Ring. Well, it's still us. It's still the same, guys. We're just we're we're we're, we're trying out a new format, and we really would like some feedback on this too. So I am uh, the one, the only, Jason Murphy. You Murphy. And that's a change. Murphy. <laughs> These people in traffic are looking at me oh, funny. Geez. Alongside the one, the only, Stone Cold Troy. Hey, that's me. I, I don't got know. Nothing for me, huh? I got nothing. I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm the well's starting to run dry on those. But anyways, Make sure you Facebook us, uh, Facebook.com slash uh, what is it? Uh, uh, what is, uh, I don't remember. Outside well, the ring number one. You know, you know what? You know, or, just or no, make sure you outside the ring on Facebook. Yes, outside the ring on Facebook, and it's outside the ring one on Twitter. Yes, and I will make sure and, link, uh, links will be in the description down below for those two. Yep. Please subscribe. We are. Changing things around. Changing things around. So if you are a subscriber, you're going to know about a lot of this new stuff before yes. everybody else. Yep, really. yep. <laughs> and uh, what we're doing here is uh, we are no longer doing one weekly show. No more hour-long shows. We are going to be releasing a video, a podcast, whatever, uh, once a day. and uh, Monday through Friday. Monday through Friday, and we will be taking the weekends off, but we, we still will be on the Facebook and the Twitter for, like, the pay-per-views and all that. We will, If there, anything happens over the weekend, we will report on it, but we w- just won't be doing a video on it. We're doing this, basically, we had a conference today, and we kind of just, we were talking about it, and we both are really excited about the new format. We, we want to do this because of a couple things. Number one... Raw is three hours now. Yes. And for me and Troy to go through every it, single thing on a Raw that's three to, hours, our show is too long. Yeah, it's honestly, you know, and with Raw not getting that much better, it's hard to fill an hour. It is. It is. And, and now, granted, Raw 1000, we were over an hour. Yeah. Um, so you can imagine if something big happens or whatever, we, it, it, we, we understand we've had a lot of people, not complaints, but tell us in the past that, you know, we need uh, to get a podcast better. And yeah. most podcasts are not an hour and five minutes. S- some of them are. Some of them are, but those are the, yeah, some th- of them are. Those are the well-established ones, though. We're not exactly well-established yeah. yet. Because, exactly. you know, people, not... people don't always have that hour out of their day to sit down and just listen to us. Exactly. And this is going to be cool because now you're going to get fresh content on our YouTube page, you'll see it on our Facebook as well, yep. and our Twitter every day, Monday through Friday. E- yes, every single topic. day. That's uh, the key. We're going to do different topics, so if something big happens, we will have a show yep. for you on and, that day. You won't have to wait a week. Yep, and uh, maybe on Monday or Tuesdays, we will, or uh, Tuesdays or Wednesdays, we will do a very, very brief rundown of Raw. Yeah, it, 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 yeah, exactly. Our, our, our more, more than likely. Our Tuesday episodes will be a raw review. Yes. Pretty much. <laughs> um, and so, and we, that said, and, our first and, one. Well, tonight. one more one more thing real quick. And we we Go. will still be doing uh, special shows for the big pay-per-views. You know, your WrestleMania, your yeah. Royal Rumble, Money in the Bank. But they won't be an hour long. We're going to shoot for around 30 to 40 minutes on those. Because we're trying and to cut it down. Possibly. I, I'm, yeah. I'm glad you brought that up. Possibly. Uh, SummerSlam is what a week from Sunday. Yes. Um, we, I'm going to be watching it. We'll probably have to talk and figure out if we want to record one. Yeah. And the cool thing, like you mentioned, is if we do pay per views, more than likely, since they're going to be shorter reviews, they could probably be up immediately after the pay per view. You yep. know, an hour after the pay per view, whatever. Yep. So this exactly. is going to be a win win for everybody. I think. Uh, yep, I do think it will, and it's going to be a little easier on me, too. Instead of editing an hour-long yeah. show, I'm only going to be editing, you know, 10, 15-minute clips at a time. So, again, that that's Believe the Believe me, uh, we've been doing this show now, what, over, over a year? Haven't no, we? Not, not quite a year. Not we're, quite. We're, 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 go- we're bordering on a year. And that is a long time, and people, you guys got to understand, I mean, we love doing the show, but it is a hassle sometimes when we both yes. have full-time jobs. We both work, and, uh, you know... To, to edit yeah, the and, show, and, and, and the how, music and everything, it's a lot. Yeah, you got that. Plus, how many times have we had to take, you know, a week or two weeks off at a time because, you know, stuff just kept coming up between us? This is going to eliminate a lot of those yes, problems. Yes, because this this is only just a brief 10. Uh, we're shooting for 10 minutes. This one might go a little bit over than that, but we're trying to stay under 15. Because, you know, yeah, like, like so, I said, this one might go a little bit over because we're gonna, we, we explained our new format to you. 
And we're going to be talking about our topic today, which is, and this is, I read this and it was, it, oh God, really? Well, it's the number one thing wrestling fans are talking about. So tonight, outside the ring, we are talking about Kevin Nash. Big sexy. Super Shredder. <laughs> the yeah. Russian from Big The Punisher. Sexy. Yes. He it, made some interesting comments it, about yeah, uh, one. They weren't really Chris interesting. Eddie Guerrero. They weren't really interesting. More, more infuriating. <laughs> but, um, yeah, yeah um, um, uh, Grantland.com. Uh, published a lengthy article on the life and controversial wrestling career of Kevin Nash. And, uh, you know, he uh, took his stance on his uh, quote-unquote vanilla midgets, uh, and, and he made mention that, and this is the exact quote, when Benoit and Guerrero hugged at the end of WrestleMania 20, that was the end of the business. <laughs> really? Here's my thing, Troy. Um when I read the comments, I was just blown away. He is basically, in his mind, nobody small uh, with a smaller build could win the big one. No, in, win the big in, one. in Nash's mind, if you're if you're la- if your name isn't Kevin Nash, you're nothing. Yeah, Kevin Nash is a bit of an ego. <laughs> yeah, and, and people um, talk about Triple H having an ego and all that. He's got nothing on yeah. Nash. No. Well, here's the thing. Triple H is a good worker. Kevin yes. Nash, in my opinion, this is my opinion, I've never liked his style in the ring. No, um, he's just your typical big man. guy knows the business. I mean, the guy is, yeah. uh, he's a very smart guy. He's not some guy like, like Greg Khali who probably knows nothing about wrestling. Yeah, exactly. Other um, than, oh, me getting Kevin ring, Nash, me smash. Yeah. You know, you would think... <laughs> He would know better than to make a comment like this. This is a stupid comment Very. from a guy that has pretty much been irrelevant since the NWO. Yeah, he's been irrelevant since the 90s, at least. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, honestly, what was the last big thing that Nash did? He created the NWO Red and Black. Yeah, and even when he came back and had his feud with Punk, had his feud with Triple Yeah, that was still kind of like... Uh, eh. Yeah, you know, it was I just, more I, about Triple H and Punk, in my opinion. Yeah, I just really want to know what uh, you know somebody like Chavo Guerrero has to say about Nash, how he said that. <laughs> that and and as well, we all know, Eddie and uh, Chris were extremely close friends. They were like brothers. Yeah, and I don't know, and that's the thing, Troy. I don't know if he's getting at the fact that they hugged, and that's how WrestleMania went off the air. If he has a problem with that, if he has a problem with two smaller guys winning or you know winning the title I, what's his does it say what his issue was actually yes here here's the rest of the quote i'm going to try to censor it for our uh, listening audience uh oh has the business been the same since that wrestlemania has it come close to the austin era has it come close to the nwo or the hogan era you put two effing guys that were great workers in there, the same height as the effing referees, and I'm sorry, man, are you going to watch a... Hold on. <laughs> well, wait a minute. See, that's stupid. That's... Yeah. Go ahead, he, Again, again he's, he's bashing it just because they were smaller guys. Just because now, you're small does not mean you are a terrible wrestler. This was during the days where Evolution was around, Bill Goldberg was around, Brock Lesnar was... Brock Lesnar was champion... For a long time during this period. Yeah, exactly. Um, and he, he goes to on. I don't to, he, know what his. Yeah. He, he goes on to compare it here. He was talking about the heights and he, height of the guys, and he says, Are you going to watch a porno movie with a guy that has a three inch member? <laughs> I mean, what does that have to do with anything? Uh, I mean, okay. He's right where. He's right when it comes to one point. He says, Was wrestling, is, was wrestling at that time or since? been as good as the Austin era? No, no. it hasn't, it but it's the NWO not. Era? No. No, and, but the um, thing is, you know, Nash is always on about, oh, these small guys, they can't do this stuff, blah, blah, blah. He wants these big hosses like Ryback and like the great Kali. If the company was full of nothing but those guys, the WWE would be so much worse than it already is. I can name three guys currently with the company, and this isn't a shot to ride back because I, I think he's starting to get a little bit better. I yeah. Don't think he, he looks too much like Goldberg he, to me. He does. Uh, and that's not his fault. He, is, mean, he is getting you know, fan backing, though. They are starting to chant with him when he chants, feed me more. 
Yeah, he, he's getting over, and I could, again, nothing. This is not a shot to him, but I, I know when you mentioned three big guys, name them in WWE, that I like their style, I, I like the way they worked, and when you talk about longevity, Undertaker, Kane. Big show. There you go. But um, Undertaker is on the very it. tail end of his career, so he's not going to be around for much longer. So somebody's going to need thing? to step up and take his place. I mean, yeah. nobody's uh, ever going to be as big good. Show's over right now, you know. Yeah, yeah I, I mean, mean, nobody's ever going to be as good as the Undertaker, but somebody needs to step yeah. up and attempt to. The Undertaker is the best big man ever in the history of the business. Yes, because we work. damn sure know it wasn't Giant Gonzalez. <laughs> no, it was not. It was not. So. Uh, there you go. That's our first episode that, yeah, of that, uh, this new format. The new format, uh, you know, and if there is, if we do happen to start prattling on event uh, longer, uh, we might some of these topics we might even extend into two episodes. But our our yeah. our goal is to release one episode a day, Monday through Friday, and just take it like that. Yeah, so. please. Please, please let us know. Uh, either comment here, comment on Facebook, what you think of Kevin Nash's comments. Do you yeah, agree with he's... them? Do you disagree? Uh, by the way, again, our Facebook outside the ring, our Twitter outside the ring, number one. And if you people still believe in email, what's our email, oh, Troy? Outside the ring 316 at gmail.com. <laughs> there you go. So we'll see you tomorrow, Friday, for another installment of Outside the Ring. Deuces.